The Australian Ghost Whisperer, with Katerina Legato and James Jennings. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode. Hi Katerina. Hello James. Hi everybody. Thank you for coming back. <laughs> yeah, thank you indeed. Yes, we're happy, to, happy you're here. We're happy to have you, yes. And please um, share our videos and um, hit the like button also. We really appreciate that. We do, we do. And uh, we've got a great episode for you today, which is we're going to talk about how humanity is seems to be so divided at the moment and that division is getting worse. Mm. Um, so we're going to explore what that division is, uh, what the paths are that seem to be splitting into two and where this might be leading. So Katerina, I guess the first thing I want to talk about is let's look at it from a positive angle. Mm -hmm. Do you think there is some kind of spiritual awakening going on where people are tapping a bit more into their psychic selves, they're becoming a bit more spiritually aware. Like, I, I, I mean, my observation is it is happening more. Like, you do see people who are getting more into meditation and, and spirituality, uh, maybe less so with religion. It seems like, you know, mm. it's not like people who became more religious, they're becoming more spiritual, which is a different thing. And it means people are exploring, again, they're working on themselves, they're meditating, they're looking at how to activate their psychic ability. Mm. So what, what are you seeing happening? Yeah, I agree. I think there's a great awakening happening on planet Earth. And um, because we've, you know, it's been very challenging times and through the challenging times, people have had time to sit and think about things more um, and also, um, you know, begin exploring different things. So I'm definitely finding that a lot of people are wanting to um, connect spiritually with their guides, with their higher selves. People are wanting to meditate. A lot of, you know, people I speak to are not getting from their religion what they feel they should be getting because, again, you know, religion is limited to this God that's outside of yourself rather than the God that's within yourself. So people are not finding all the answers they want um, via religion so people are now I feel that there is um, the energy of the times has changed and it's I think we are stepping into more of a higher frequency and so this is um, awakening people's psychic senses it's awakening the perceptive side of themselves their intuition so people are now taking time to explore Mm. more their inner world the god within them to explore more you know what what am i all about i'm not just here to to to, to work and and just be you know just exist mm. and, not just a physical being there's yeah more, there's and more. more and people also are, are, are truly searching to find their soul's purpose so i feel that this is the energy that's you know this it's like a calling it's like for for those that are hearing it you know to 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 work more deeply on themselves to help raise the the frequency on planet earth to to raise the frequency to raise the frequency of their consciousness even and be able to connect to the higher you know their higher selves connect to the higher ancient spirits that have lived on the land before us and be and through that be able to access the you know the multi-dimensionality of who they are mm. and and when you're able to bring in all this wisdom then you're able to have a much bigger perception of who you are and be able to make changes in your life that perhaps you would not have made prior to you know having these spiritual mm. experiences so people are making real breakthroughs you know um, people want to explore more about who they are, where they've come from. A lot of people, like Donna and I, last week we we ran a re our retreat, the first one for, you know, that we've ever, I think for both of us that we ever did, and it was so amazing because part of the meditation I took mm -hmm. the people on was going back to where they originally came from, and it was so amazing how so many of them 
realize that they didn't even come from planet earth that they came from other planets and that mm. they connected up with their you know their ancient families and and you know that they'd left behind and and the experiences that a lot of you know the group had was just amazing and they were amazed to mm. to learn and to sense and it and it felt right it, everyone said you know i felt like they were part of me part of my family even though I'd, I'd never i don't recall ever meeting them it's just mm. we forget unfortunately but it felt familiar it felt loved i felt loved i felt nurtured i felt like you know that was my true home mm. Mm. so i think that there is a great split occurring there's the people who are just remaining in the 3d world are still consumed by the 3d you know, world, which is, you know, money, survival, um, and they just are very limited. And I think mm -hmm. that that is, that's the split. And then there's the people that are really searching, that want to grow, that want to develop, they want to heal, they want to change their lives, they want to stop feeling like they've got to be slaves to, you know, that they want to be free, they want to start their own businesses, or they want to go off and explore different things, they want to travel. And this is because their their soul's calling out, their spirit's calling out for mm -hmm. this more ex expanded um you know state of being it doesn't want to feel limited any longer yeah. so that that's really why i'm you know i can clearly see the split and i think people are recognizing the split people are going you know i don't feel so close to my friend anymore because they're doing work and their friends are not or there's a lot of splits taking places in family where some you know certain family members are still remaining quite stuck in the old ways and want to hold on to the way things used to be mm. but that's never going to be anymore you know mm. so and then those people who want to kind of explore and don't feel bad if you need to leave behind friends or family or it's okay it's because your your frequency is higher and they're still in that lower frequency you mm. know they're not ready to journey out and and explore themselves so don't ever allow anyone to hold you back that's my advice go out there explore you know become the bigger and better version of yourself mm. because that's going to help you when you leave this 3d world you might find yourself going back to your your true family or going back to the original planet from where you've come from mm. so this is what the journey is all about but this you can see the definite split you can see you know people in the street who are just walking around their heads are down and they're just consumed with thinking about you know whatever's on their mind and you can see other people who just their auras are so big, their energies are filled with so much light and they're just bringing that wherever they go. They're just taking that beautiful light with them mm. and they're, they're, they're just exploring, they're connecting with new friends, they're doing, they're, you know, going to retreats, they're going to meditation classes, they you know, they 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 want to hang out with like-minded people. Yeah, yeah. And I think, I think using the word split is key here because... Mm. In, um, in in messages that both Katarina and I have got um, in, a, in a psychic sense is we keep hearing the word split mm. you know like there is it's it's like there is a very clear division now and it's almost like you know on a soul level people have made a choice and the choice is between do you want to stay anchored to the physical world where essentially it's all about material possessions and mm. it's about money and it's about status and it's about only what I see physically yeah, in front of me. Yeah, the five senses. The five yeah. senses. Yeah. And, uh, and, and then you've got other people, as we said, who are searching beyond that. And it's like both of those things are not compatible at all. They're just mm. not compatible. And, um, and yeah, I, I think that, you know, people who do start following a more spiritual path, you can feel a little bit alienated because I would say that, they are in the minority. I think it does still feel like mm. more spiritually minded people are in the minority. And mm. then, um, uh, you know, so for you to feel like you're maybe a bit of an outlier mm. and uh, amongst co-workers or family or friends or what have you, 
um, it's probably quite common. Would you say that? Yeah, and I think also um, a lot of people that they, they don't want to speak about it. So people who are kind of developing and and um, doing all these mm. more spiritually inclined activities, they're probably afraid to speak about it. Mm. And um, but I think if you step out of that, for you'll be surprised. Like you know, you might have a coworker who's doing exactly the same thing. I just believe that it's all about following your heart, you know, mm. and going with it. And you will f eventually find like-minded people. Yeah, I think, yeah. you know, like we, James and I started our Patreon, which is all about people coming in who want to develop their gifts and want to explore. And it's been amazing, like, mm. to see their journey of how much they've developed and how far, you know, and some of them have made incredible changes in their lives that I don't think they would have perhaps done if they hadn't, you know, yeah. become part of of the group. So And it seems common with a lot of them as well, um, that I think they did feel like a bit of the odd one out and Yeah, and, so and it's and like the, we've got this lovely community yeah, and yeah, when yeah. we have our little meetups, like the physical meetups, it's really nice they get yeah. to physically meet each other because usually the meetings are on Zoom. So I think that people are finding, you know, connections and friendships. I think your spirit will always connect you up to the right people, mm. people that you um, gravitate towards. I think just don't be afraid, don't hold back, keep exploring, keep, um, you know, and again, you know, we're going to notice, you know, the people on the other side of the fence, like we said, who are just all kind of all consumed by the 3D world, and that's fine. That's just where they're at. And, mm. I mean, um, that's their journey. I mean, mm. who are we to judge them? Yeah. Yeah, it's... yeah. but it's it does seem like people are making a choice, and I've definitely received messages about a split where mm. those paths will diverge even further. So, mm. you know, the people who've chosen that more materialistic 3D path are going to go this way, and the people who've chosen a, 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 a spiritual path are going to go this way. So mm. the best way that I can probably the best metaphor that I can give is that like if the world is currently grey, like, you know, it's just a mix of everything, like or, or it's a mix of, um, you know, uh, black and white. It's almost like separating. And I, I, I'm obviously not saying this in a racial way. I'm just using colour as an example. But like, you know, black and white make grey and that's just everything in the world mixed together. But they will separate, the colours would separate yeah, into like right. this, this here and this mm -hmm. here. And again, not a racial thing. It's just using colour as a metaphor. Um, so, but yeah, a, a clear, a clear separation, no, no more muddy waters. Maybe that's a better metaphor. The, the, the water won't be muddy. The more water will be clear. It's like the mud go, oh, now I'm using an even worse metaphor and call <laughs> people mud. mud. One way. Yeah. I think you what, what I mean? is happening is that, you know, you're in this higher frequency. So you're going to go into, you're going to step into the higher frequency. Mm earth yeah and then you've got the lower frequency earth which is all kind of run by you know technology and money and you know um physical things physical so that that's going to obviously be a lower frequency so the people who you know that's what they're all about they will kind of just kind of morph into that world right. and the people who are seeking more of the higher learnings the higher want to live a, a higher purposeful purple pur pur purposeful life <laughs> will morph into the higher frequency yes and and so that separation eventually i think that to me i feel like we won't be aware of them they won't be aware of us because yeah. we've gone in different directions it's yeah. like you know you lose touch with someone and you know you never see them again it's kind of that kind of thing and mm. the changes are are definitely happening and yeah it feels like it's a little bit slow at times but i i see more and more the the changes and people just sort of finding their own soul group mm -hmm. and um I think that that's where, where it's at. I think the changes are here and mm. um, I don't feel that anything is, is we're not going to go back to the old ways. I think that's really done and dusted. And mm. I think it's either, it's just choosing where you want, what you want to experience, you know, yeah. if you want to experience more of, you know, the, the true reality, nature, your spirit, your true 
true the true source within you then mm. you will obviously do the work and those who don't want to and are just happy to be you know technology and 3d then that that's that's the path that they'll morph into yeah mm. yeah well i mean look so at that's it yeah it's like a timelines you know it's mm. choosing which timeline you want to walk yeah mm. yeah yeah it, 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 it's a hard thing to get your head around you know timeline splitting into into two but like it's when you start realizing that you know everything in existence is frequency and mm. vibration and that like there are other dimensions and it's all about frequency and vibration mm. and, and and what have you then then you start to realize that these things are possible it's possible for things to diverge um you know I, i've been listening to a lot of podcasts lately where people describe getting glimpses in in their in their conscious life getting glimpses into alternate realities yeah where, where another version of themselves e even exists yeah but um yeah and sometimes it's just amalgamating all those versions of yourself coming together to be one higher being and returning back to you know to god or returning back to you know uh, to a higher um, race of 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 beings that you were part of once upon a time perhaps you've come here to hold the light here you've come here to be of service you know everybody has a purpose for being here mm. some higher than others but i think the ultimate um for those that are growing is that we return to our true natural form our true origin mm. and so that's why we're working through people are working through a lot of their personal issues people are setting themselves free from you know the 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 ties and the old obligations so that they can return to their true origin mm. because that that's what it's you know you're always feeling as though something's missing as though something's not quite complete in my life and it's not a physical thing it's something that's much deeper than that it's because you are searching to return to your true origin, to wherever it is that you've come from, mm. you know, and, and rejoining that, the higher races, the higher beings. And that's why a lot of people are like, you know, I talk to a lot of clients and they're like, I can't, you know, the state of the world is so disturbing, it's so upsetting. And, and yes, it is. And yet other people are completely oblivious to it. Yeah. Other people are like, yeah. there's nothing wrong. Yep. They don't see, they just are not in touch to see what is really going on. And mm. it's because they're just not there yet. But those who are really awake are seeing it. And yeah, and it's and it's bloody hard, you know. We're yeah. seeing things that we don't really want to see. We're seeing the pain and the suffering. And we're seeing, you know, the real state of this world. And it, it's not pleasant. But um, mm. I think we, we, we can be aware of it, but we've just still got to... You know, hold that inner strength and, and and really hold the purpose of what we've come here to achieve, to bring the light, to to shed awareness, to help awaken. But you can't force it on people. No. Not everybody's ready. But know that, you know, whatever you're, you've bought here, whatever you're doing is of value. Mm. And that eventually it, it does make a difference, even though it feels very tragic at times as though, you know, I don't, you know, what am I going to do? I, what little bit I'm doing is not making a difference, but mm. it does because, you know, if there's enough of us, you're know, holding light here, holding strength, bringing awareness, even showing these people who are not completely oblivious. Sometimes mm. they need, they just need a bit of a shake up and a wake up call. Yeah. And, um, you know, I think that there's a lot of um, movies coming out now and things that are making people more aware of what's really going on and mm. i think that there's going to be a lot more signs you know signs in the sky signs in movies and things um you know people are on youtube channels now talking more about their experience so there's a lot more coming out yeah, you know the true. awakening is certainly very powerful mm. and you know if you're really oblivious to it, then you just really just don't want to know. Yeah. You know, and that's just where they're at. And I think you just leave them alone and you just keep working with what you mm. feel you're here to contribute. Keep working with that and know that you're not alone. Know that 
there is a lot of um you know help there there's a lot of spiritual help there's your your soul family is helping you in the in the background but you have already the strength within you to achieve whatever it is you've come here to achieve to bring into this world whether you're bringing the light whether you're bringing wisdom whether you're here to help the children whether you're here to be a voice for you know whatever isn't um right and truthful in this world i think so many people are doing their part in different ways yeah. but it's all happened it's 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 the shake up it's the awakening and it's you know the timelines are splitting and I, you know I'm, i don't think there's just two timelines i think there's so many timelines and i think that each one will go to each person will go to the timeline that they feel that they will gravitate to that's mm. taking them where they feel they need to to go yeah yeah mm. and like I'll, I'll add as well i mean it's kind of hard because like there's um there's a lot of people that i love and care about mm. who have definitely you know um denied uh any existence of the spiritual world mm. of their spiritual selves they don't want to know about it mm. um they have kind of chosen I guess the, the the 3D physical reality and nothing there is nothing else as far as mm. they're concerned. It's hard because again, I'm, you know, there's people I love and care about, mm. but it, it's it's not up to me. We to, can't to, lecture, no. No, I, can't. I, yeah, yeah, it's not yeah. my job to lecture or change people. It's just like mm. I, I can live my life uh, in, in my truth, mm. in, in in what I believe to be yeah, true. You have to be and, true to yourself. You know, and you know. People can choose whether or not they're interested mm. or want to know more about it, and if they do, that's great. Yeah. Um, I would say most people don't <laughs> don't care, but that's okay. <laughs> like that's okay because no, I think I've... some people are like you know I see it as like some people are just at kindergarten level, and other people are at university level, and they yeah, and um, you just can't drag a kindergarten to to university because yeah. this yeah. is going to be lost. You know, you have conversations with these people that are kind of in kindergarten level and they just look at you and it's just gone right over there. Yeah. Yeah, I I find that mo the people I know who are closed off to it. Like I do sometimes I do try and gently I you know, know, like just put things out there just to get people's, you know, minds ticking over things, but um more often than I tend, I tend to find that people just, they prefer to stick their head in the sand. And I think the main reason they do that is probably fear. And mm. they wouldn't recognise it as fear, but it's mm. that it's that fear of the unknown. And it's also like, you know, what I see in front of me, you know, this 3D existence I have and all my material things, I understand that. Mm. Um, I feel safe. I know this. This is all known. I don't want to know about things that I don't understand and might potentially be scary. Yeah, they're not ready for it. So you can't force people to be ready for anything. They're not. It's, it's got to happen. The, the the activations of these gifts that and these awakenings that are happening are quite natural in people, and the activations are that are happening are there because these people are ready to receive the activations, to receive the messages, to have the the awakenings but mm. those that are not you just you gotta just let them be i mean yeah. like i said for me i think that one day we won't be aware of them as much as they won't be aware of us so yeah. i i just feel the important thing is that you work with yourself and that you know that hopefully you do have people that you can you know communicate with and talk about things i think that's important not to feel isolated and afraid and I know that some of you are seeing things that are are really hard to see and and know things that are hard to know but um, this is what it's all about it's the darkness is coming to the surface and we're all looking at it and seeing it for what it really is mm. and that's the times we're in you know we, we've come out of that kind of you know the Piscean time where everything was very hidden um, we weren't aware into this kind of they call it the time of the Aquarian time where everything is communication and people are talking, people are aware of what's really going on. Mm. And, um, you know, people want to make change. I think that's beautiful. I love it when people want to make changes and want to try and help or heal or, or in whatever way. I think that it's, mm. it's really beautiful. And, um, you know, the others will either catch up or they're just going to 
be stuck in that sort of reality for a long time until they're ready to evolve. Mm. And um, yeah, that's just how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't force people, and it's it, it, people need to find these things in their own time. Mm. And yeah, I, you know, we would never go around evangelizing, trying to like you know convert no, people no, to our no, to our no, point of view because it's a waste of time. And and also, it's okay for people to make their choices. And the way that I've seen it as well, it's like when I see people who are completely shut off to the whole prospect of their even being a spiritual self i just kind of think to myself you're gonna find out in time mm -hmm. like you're gonna you're gonna like shuffle off this mortal coil at some point and be like <laughs> oh i'm actually i'm still here well, i've met them in spirit because like i said as you know i do a lot of house clearings and stuff like that i help a lot of souls that are stuck in between realities and mm. they're like they don't even realize they've died yeah and it's like you know yeah because they just thought that they would die and that was it and then they're just floating around in limbo until someone finds them and can help them to cross over yeah so it's really important you know to 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 work on yourself but also be prepared for the afterlife you know have have set an intention of you know do you want to return to your to your, you know, the the your or the original place that you've come from. Do you want to mm. return to God, or do you want to just be reincarnated and keep coming back here and and you know doing this cycle over and over again? Mm. These are all things that you need to think about and explore whilst yeah. you're here. Otherwise, like I said, when a lot of people die, they're just stuck in limbo and they're just floating around until you know yeah. someone or something helps them. It's funny you should say that. That's just triggered a memory that, like, I remember many, many years ago, I had a psychic reading done, and my grandfather came through, mm. and he had some messages for my mother. But one of the first things he said said was um, he felt a bit embarrassed about doing this because he didn't believe in any of this yeah. stuff when he was alive. So he was a bit like he felt a bit silly. Mm. Like he was like, uh. Uh, I admit that I always thought this was BS, but I, I'm here. Yeah, I've had messages like yeah, that. Yeah, which I thought was pretty hilarious. It's it like... is. I've had a laugh with it. I've had uh, messages like that, like while well, I'm doing readings for clients, and it's like whoever comes through is like, I didn't really think this could really happen. And mm. it's like they're looking at me like, who the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but they slowly kind of get into it, and then we have a bit of a giggle, and yeah. it all works out. But, yeah. yeah, I've had that quite a bit. It's like, and then, you know, my client's like, yeah, whoever, like their mother, whoever it is, it's like they would never intend you yeah, this. Yeah, it's like, well, they, they are just, now. Yeah, they are now. <laughs> so they're just exploring that, you know, you can communicate, yeah, to the other side. We're never really separate you know yeah. love always binds us but yeah look there's a definitely awakening there's a lot of shifts there's a lot of changes there's still so much that we have ahead of us and I think to be able to um, you know have people around feel supported but mm. also know that you have everything you need within you yeah so yeah meditate go within ask for help and you'll find that you'll yeah you'll you'll get through things you'll it can be a very exciting time of new awareness, of shifts, of changes, of exploring parts of yourselves that you've forgotten or that you never kind of realised existed. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, um, we might uh, what, wrap it up there, Karen. Yeah. Uh, but I hope that's, uh, uh, you know, giving you some food for thought, guys, and sort of like presented, you know, maybe you've been witnessing this yourself and you haven't, heard a discussion on it but if you have thoughts you'd like to share or yeah, let us know please let us know but yeah um you know find your tribe and uh let's see where this crazy adventure is taking us yeah it is it's a crazy adventure and uh yeah let's try and have some fun along the way yeah that's, that's exactly right mm -hmm. yeah okay all right well we'll wrap it up katarina thank you thank you everybody thank you james no worries we'll see you next time have a great week bye 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 everyone bye, bye. To gain access to private spiritual development classes, guided meditations, and live Q&As with Katerina, please visit www.patreon, that's P-A-T-R-E-O-N, dot com forward slash The Australian Ghost Whisperer.